You ever come across a place in a video game when you thought, wow, this is pretty obscure. Why is this here? Well, I found that location in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's get into it, baby. After a long journey, we've made it to the Haunted Wasteland, and we're about to come up on the most obscure location in Zelda Ocarina of Time. And by God, is it obscure. Onwards to a very obscure location. Right here in the middle of the Haunted Wasteland, there's a sign dropped by our shop, Carpet Merchant. Okay, look at this guy. This guy's just, this is not the location, by the way. This is just part of the location. This guy is just out of his mind. He's just a big hippie guy who sells bomb shoes for $200, 200 rupees rather, and we're not doing that. But if we go back over here, no, 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 stop talking to me. Please come back again. I don't know how you're making your livelihood there, bud, but it's not going to be from me. We're going to follow these flags through the treacherous terrain of the haunted wasteland. We are going to come up on a very weird stone monument. Now this monument, you go up here on the roof, and this is where you find your phantom guide that will lead you through the rest of the haunted wasteland, right? One with the eye of truth shall be guided to the spirit temple by an inviting ghost. Fantastic, but down here has got to be the most obscure location in Ocarina of Time. Drop down here. And down here, we have a treasure chest. Can't remember what's in it, but this has got to be the weirdest place in Ocarina of Time. What is the point of this? What was this building used for? Why is it here? And, and how is this so protected? And what are the, who lit these torches? Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I lit those torches to get the treasure chest down here. So sorry about that. But why were they here? Is this like a ritual room? Is this like a safe haven from the desert? That's probably what it is, folks. It's probably an underground base from the treacherous terrain of the haunted wasteland. You can get lost very easily. And legend says that some people who have been lost in the haunted wasteland never return again. So this is probably like a halfway mark between Gerudo Valley and the Spirit Temple. Could it be used to house soldiers traveling to the Spirit Temple? Perhaps. Could it be used as a ritual center? Perhaps as well, man. Now there is a ghost on top of this building right so there's definitely been some death around here right because legend has it ghosts you know they they haunt the places that they need to make peace with you know what i'm saying so actually if we open up the uh the menu here and we go into the old eye of truth all right see what is this ghost doing why is he here and and what does this say in hylian you know, I, I couldn't tell you. It's got to be a tombstone. It has to be a tombstone. This area, and, and look, this is why I think it's a battle zone, an old battle zone. Because it's kind of hidden, like, it's tucked away behind these mounds of sand. So it, it's definitely seen some, uh, it, it definitely provides some protection. And it's, it's clearly marked with all the flags, right? So, I'm just saying, I think that this is either one of three things. A ritual center, a safe haven from the rough terrain of the desert, or an old battleground. And this was like, like instead of trenches in World War I, it was the stone monument from the Great Hylian War. You know? But, it does have an altar. This, this looks to me like an altar. And, and there's no seating, though, so maybe perhaps the soldiers just uh, stood here and, and watched the... Boys, we're going to go out and fight, and we're going to... You know, actually, let me get on stage and do this, okay? Boys, we're going to go out and fight. We're going to win this Hylian War against whoever the hell we're fighting against. You know, it just seems so odd. And if we look at the map, this is the farthest point in the map besides Desert Colossus, right? You see our little square there. There's just not really that many hidden away features. And this area is not required. You know, you don't have to get this chest, right? 
so i don't really and, and you could easily miss the entrance to this if you just walk around the building and go up the ramp to the top you do need to go to the top to meet with the ghost but you could in theory miss the interior of this building I just don't know that many other obscure places. This to me just seems like the most obscure place in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, if you have any obscure places in Ocarina of Time, please let me know. And if, if you have something more obscure than this, I'd love to hear about it. Because I feel like of all the years that I've play, been playing this game, this is by far the most obscure place in Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you later.